हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू जे सी ई कनेक्ट टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इन द डायलैक्ट्रिक मटीरियल्स दैट इज एक्सप्रेशन फॉर इंटरनल फील्ड इन केस ऑफ लिक्विड एंड सॉलिड्स सो वॉट यू मीन बाई इंटरनल फील्ड दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी टूडे सो ये इंटरनल फील्ड और द लोकल फील्ड इज द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड दैट एक्ट एट द साइट ऑफ एनी गिवन आइटम ऑफ अ सॉलिड और अ लिक्विड डायलैक्ट्रिक सब्जेक्टेड टू एन एक्सटर्नल इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड इज द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ द अप्लाइड फील्ड एंड द फील्ड ड्यू टू ऑल द सराउंडिंग डाइपोल्स सो इट इज nothing but just an electric field that is acting at any given site of a atom in a solid or liquid subjected to the external electric field and the field generated due to the surrounding dipoles that is other dipole moments so it can be given as ei is equals to e divided by 1 minus 1.2 alpha into e that is electric polarizability divided by pi epsilon not d cube so the same uh, internal field uh, this is for the one dimension similarly we can write a three dimensional case the general equation uh, for internal field as ei is equals to e plus gamma divided by epsilon not into p so now we will uh, see a derivation of an important equation in the dielectrics that is clausius mosotti equation so this is one of the important derivations so here consider a solid dielectric material of a dielectric constant epsilon r if n is the number of atoms per unit volume of a material and mu is the atomic dipole moment then we can write dipole moment per unit volume the total dipole moment per unit volume can be written as n into mu that is nothing but total number of atoms and the dipole moment right here the field experienced by the atom is the internal field ei hence if alpha e is electronic polarizability of the atoms we can write equation mu as so the expression for mu can be written as mu is equals to alpha e into ei so substituting this in the equation 1 it becomes dipole moment per unit volume p is equals to n alpha e into ei which we will make it as our equation number 3 now in this we can write ei is equals to p divided by n into alpha e that is equation 4 but we have the relation for p as uh, we have a relation for p as p is equals to epsilon not into epsilon r minus 1 into e make it as your equation number 5 so the dipole moment per unit volume p can be written like this also right here we we'll just rearrange it e is equals to p divided by epsilon not into epsilon r minus 1 and we will make it as equation number 6 therefore we can have equation for internal field so we can have a equation for internal field ei that is equals to e plus gamma divided by epsilon not into p so this is the standard equation which we will take it as equation number 7 where we will substitute ei and e we have found the value of ei we have found the value of e so these two we are going to substitute in this equation correct so when we substitute the ei value that is p divided by 
n into alpha e that is equals to e value is p divided by epsilon naught into epsilon r minus 1 plus p divided by epsilon naught into gamma I will just simplify it we will uh, take out the p on all the side as a common and we will cancel it out and we will be left with 1 divided by n into alpha e here we will take 1 divided by epsilon naught outside 1 divided by epsilon naught 1 divided by epsilon r minus 1 plus gamma considering the Lorentz field alpha is equals to 1 divided by 3 in the above equation so this alpha value we will take it as the Lorentz field that is 1 divided by 3 our equation is going to be one divided by n into alpha e is equals to one divided by epsilon naught one divided by epsilon r minus one plus one divided by three in place of gamma we have substituted one divided by three so when we will simplify it we will get one divided by epsilon naught into we will take the lcm that is three plus epsilon r minus one divided by three into epsilon r minus one so when we will uh, simplify this term we will be getting here we will take this epsilon naught on the other side so it will become epsilon naught divided by n into alpha e is equals to epsilon r plus 2 3 into epsilon r minus 1 or this we can write it as epsilon r minus 1 divided by epsilon r plus 2 this is equals to n into alpha e divided by 3 into epsilon naught this is the final expression the sub equation is known as a Clausius-Mosotti equation for the dielectric materials. Okay, thank you.